Alright, this video is for someone that is using a video of a balloon car where they're putting a vacuum behind it and it doesn't work which it works like five times and then on the sixth time he says they place the vacuum just right to get it to not work the main problem with their setup is that their balloon car has a tiny straw and it barely moves the car in the first place so when you do put the vacuum and they have it sideways to it when you put it close enough it puts a little sideways force on it and it holds the car it takes almost nothing to hold their car it's barely getting propelled forward and I'm assuming they did the small straw and that experiment on purpose because it barely moves the car so sometimes it just doesn't work this one the car moves every time it's enough thrust to propel the car and I will put a vacuum behind it so that the air has nothing to push off of and if it's pushing off other air it's actually pushing off air which I it's not what propels it forward it's not the majority of it but it'll be pushing off air that's going really fast into the vacuum so if you really think this is proof that rockets don't work in space because air needs sitting still air to press off of apparently then this is proof for you of otherwise so I'll blow it up I'll show you the car works just fine without anything and then this same exact car I will blow it up and put the hose right behind it I'll do it like a bunch of times I'll even do one where I put the nozzle of that into the hose a little bit I'll try to keep it in there and it'll still go forward so it's pressing out air that is definitely not going to be going fast in the vacuum and if you believe that the rocket has to do with air pressure going through like if they keep seeing air resistance or something that it makes it presses against the resistance of the air with a vacuum behind it it will actually have air going backwards behind it and still air in front of it so you should really think apparently that it's just going to sit there or maybe even go backwards I don't know what you guys will think but so here you go that a balloon car works with a vacuum behind the nozzle sucking the air coming out of it backwards which is the effect we're looking for anyway so you still have the net Mass going backwards, propelling the car forwards. <clears throat> I'm lined up here. No vacuum. This car works just fine as a rocket car. Hey, it's a rocket car. Let's do it with a vacuum. <laughs> we don't want to do that. Wow, it worked just fine. How about that? They had it to the side, I'll put it to the side. Now I actually even stick it in the hose a little bit. It's gonna slow it down slightly, but it's still gonna work. Yeah, thrust works just fine without a mass of sitting still air behind it. Like, it's almost hard to explain what you guys are talking about, but apparently they think that this rocket moves because there's effectively almost like a pillar or ball mass of air here, and it's pushing against it. But that is not the fundamental working of rockets. You blow this up. The balloon has tension in it, so it's always keeping a pressure on the air inside of it. Otherwise, it would just be 
a ball hanging in midair if it didn't have pressure. So since it's stretchy, it always has pressure. The pressure is always trying to get to the lower pressure, so it expels its air out the back, expelling anything with mass away from you, expels your mass the other way, because there's no other way about it. A push, a push feels, th both objects feel the push. My finger can feel the push. The boot feels the push, obviously, because it's moving. If I was on ice, and the boot was like really friction, I would move, even though I'm pushing the boot. I'm the pusher. If you put a scale in between me and anything I push, no matter which way you flip the scale, it measures force. Because a push is a, just a push felt on both things. You can't get away from that. You do not identify, in physics of numbers and mass, one thing is not the pusher. You attach whatever applies the pushing force to something and it tends to be that the thing that is the pusher or launcher has more mass or you're allowing it to go the other way. So like a rocket, your whole goal is to get it go the other way. So yes, it is effectively the air launcher, but that is only because you are wanting it to go the opposite direction. <clears throat> in a cannon, the cannon has a whole bunch of mass and the ball is effectively way less mass than the cannon. If it wasn't, if it was like a styrofoam cannon you shot a metal cannonball out of and you didn't shove it in the ground or something which effectively makes its mass, its mass plus the earth, it will fly backwards. Your, your cannon will become the cannonball and your cannonball will sit here and maybe move back a little bit. You put a PVC pipe around a cannonball and you blow it up enough that it doesn't completely destroy your PVC, the PVC pipe will go flying and not your ball. It has to do with the mass and you can use the mass of the earth to make you sit still. So <clears throat> this car, if it launches this crayon, since it has wheels and it's a low friction, it will launch it and you would see something like this. It would launch it and they both go. When you throw a baseball or whatever, you plant your feet on the ground, especially in such a way that instead of tilting back, effectively your mass accelerating, that you are putting the force coming back at you from pushing the ball into the earth. So imagine there's like a ledge here and the car is sitting in the ledge. You launch it, it the force of it trying to go backwards goes into the ledge and effectively into this, which is on the ground, it is effectively rotating my the whole earth with my house and I get that's hard to believe for people in general apparently but that is what's happening if you're on a giant heavy ball and it's like free to rotate like one of those fountain balls that has water on it and you barely touch it and it spins if you go on top of it and you throw some really heavy ball the balls you're sitting on is going to start rotating backwards it's effectively you sitting on an earth it's very minuscule because the earth is obviously gigantic so it's pretty much pointless to think about the earth moving when you do like a push-up or throw a ball, but that is what's happening. Probably more to come, because people aren't going to believe science, <laughs> I guess is what it's coming down to.